Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to work on our first floor and we'll do a bit of modification to our ground floor as well. So let's do that first. I'm going to go to level 1 floor plan and here I'm going to show you that we have these walls here which are not supposed to go all the way up to level 2. So what I'm going to do here, if you haven't cut this wall yet, so you need to split them. So use this split command, split element, take your cursor here and split them. So they are separate walls now. So I'm going to select these walls, press control and then select the back walls as well, which I want to just give a little bit less height. So here we have this top constraint goes up to level 2. I'm going to first select as unconnected and I'm going to give a value of 5 feet. So let's type 5, enter and then apply. Now let's look at our plan in 3D. So now this is how it looks like, right? So these are walls has a height of 5 feet and this wall is basically goes to the first floor as well so that's why I just kept it full height to up to level 2 and this is the garage wall so obviously it's gonna go all the way up now let's go to level 2 now and start working on our first floor let's go to level 2 and right now you can see I don't see anything here but what I want to do, I want to see the underlay lines of my first floor as well, like the ground floor as well. So I could draw on that. Now if you go to the properties of this floor, you will find an option here, underlay. Right now the base level is set to none, so I'm going to select the base level to level 1. And it's going to select automatically the top level is level 2. I'm going to click on apply. So once I apply this, I can see my ground floor showing but I'm not able to select this. Now if we go to select menu here and if I check this select underlay elements now I would still be able to modify and select these wall which are not which are on ground floor level. So it's not a good idea so we will go back and then uncheck this underlay element. Now I can draw on this I can snap to these elements but I won't be able to move the ground floor elements. Now let's work on the first floor walls. So we will select the wall command and here I have selected this basic wall but I'm going to just look at the drop down menu and I'm going to be modifying another wall for the first floor so I'm just going to keep that separate. So I'm going to select this generic 4 inch wall which is a brick wall. I'm going to click on edit type and then I'm going to click on duplicate and we'll name it our first floor walls. I'm going to click OK and click on Edit Structure as well. We'll change the thickness to 4.5 inch and we'll leave the material, the brick material is already there. So click OK now. Now, before we start drawing our wall, I just want to mention here that you select this face exterior, finished face exterior. So with the help of that, I, was, I would be able to pick this point and then the wall will be drawn inside it. Let's select this pick point and as you can see I'm able to draw the wall here. So let's go and complete the boundary of this wall. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to bring it all the way here. And then we are going to take this here. And then let's just click here. Click on this point. And then click here, click here. And then click here. Click here click here and take it all the way up to the corner and now let's look at our walls for the first floor in 3d all right so we have all the walls done the outside walls now for the inside walls I can actually copy these walls from the ground floor and just bring them up so before we do that just want to make sure that everything is properly aligned so we have something like the bottom walls are a bit thick we have the 9 inch wall but the top is like 4.5 inch wall doesn't really matter we can fix that as well so for that we're gonna go to level 1 and I'm going to copy these elements and then I'm gonna make a copy by pressing ctrl C we go to level 2 and then I'm going to press ctrl V and I'm gonna just drop them here now I'm going to select these elements again and then I'm going to use this move tool and I'm going to pick this point 
and then I'm gonna drop it here okay so we need to zoom in a little bit to select that point okay it's still giving us an issue so okay it's actually trying to align to this wall here what I don't want to do so what I can do here I'm gonna select this again and I'm gonna select the move tool and we pick the different points I'm gonna pick this point now the midpoint now we can snap to this that's our midpoint there I'm gonna click here now our walls been copied let's look at that in 3d now some of the walls are copied now as you can see here they're properly aligned and we go back to level 2 and now for this room I don't want the room to be like this on the first floor in instead I want to make two rooms here so what I can do I'm gonna select the wall and now we are going to select our generic wall and let's look at the wall what we use here so this is a basic wall interior wall so we can select the same wall for the first floor as well so select the wall command and in the drop down menu we're going to find what wall we created before so that's going to be somewhere here basic wall we should say basic interior wall and i think this is the one interior wall and then i'm going to draw from the center line so we'll just draw it from here i'm going to align this to this wall and then i'm going to make this a room here and then i'm going to take this wall and then just try to snap it to the midpoint now we have two rooms this actually hasn't aligned properly so we move it a little bit further and we can use the join command as well so let's select this select this wall and then we'll try to select this red one now it still didn't fix so what we can do we can just move it a little bit forward it's going to give us an error so we can just ignore that error now we will be able to join this wall to this wall and there you go now we can just bring it back and we have that issue here and then I'm going to actually remove this wall completely and we can take this wall all the way to the main. as you can see that there are issues that when you need to solve and sometimes they are a bit confusing but you can still solve them by trying different things now we got everything done for the first floor so we have the wall we just need to door here we'll fix that in a second now over windows the doors hasn't been copied right so to copy them what i can do here i'm actually going to go to level one and i'm going to copy this right and let's look at the level two first so here we have already copied let me double check that now we did not actually copy this on the top as well so we need to copy this so we're gonna go to let's say level two again and we need to cut this wall from the same position let's go to modify tab and select this split element and then i'm gonna zoom in here and then i'm gonna cut this here and then we're gonna go to the top and i'm going to cut the wall here as well and i'm gonna press escape and select this element and let's just delete that and then we can just copy that or we can make new one and i think it's a better idea to copy this wall so we can do that in 3d let's go to 3d view and then i'm actually going to make select a copy command so let's just use a copy command here select this element pick this as a point we're gonna zoom in and we can just pick this point and drop that on the top here so select that here finish selection and then pick a point pick this point and drop it on top here as well it's actually not letting me copy so i can do Control c and then Control v and i'm going to just drop it there and then i'm going to move this from let's just say this point and then we can bring it back to this point here and it should fix the problem now still have a problem but we can fix that in a second because our these walls are going all the way up to the roof let's go to the elevation south elevation 
I'm going to select these walls. So let's just make a window selection here. For the top constraint, we can select roof here. Plus apply. And there you go. So we got our first floor walls done. We can still keep, do the modification later. But now it's time for us to create a roof. So actually we should create a floor first and then we talk about roof. Now to create a roof, we go to the level one because we have to create a roof at the level one as well. So level one roof is going to be fairly easy. We just go to architectural tab and then select this roof command. If I click on this drop down menu, I get to see that we have the four kinds of roof. We'll select the roof architectural. And now we are in a sketch mode again. Now I'm going to select a rectangle, which is going to be a lot easier. And because I'm going to create a roof to pretty much uh, from this point all the way to here, this is going to be a ground floor roof. And when I click on yes, and then we can look at the roof in 3D. Now there you go. So we got the floor done, not roof actually. We got the floor done now. Now it's time for us to create a floor for the first floor as well. Let's go to level two. And now we are going to create a roof again. Sorry, I'm keep saying the roof, but it's floor. So select the full floor command. And then we're going to select a line instead of picking the points. Now I'm going to start from the core of this uh, wall. So let's select the wall from there. And then let's just click here. And then let's just move all the way wherever we need floor. And then I'm going to click here again. And then come down here. We will still have to modify our uh, floor. So for this, I'm actually going to press escape and I'm going to delete this line. And I'm going to take this line all the way to the end. This is going to be the same kind of uh, floor for us. Basically, it works like a slab. Now let's pick the point again and we select from this point and we drop a point here. Now we'll click on this tick mark button and it's going to ask me, would you like walls to go up to the floor to attach the bottom? I'm going to click on no. And now let's look at it in 3D. Now our first floor is done, as you can see here. I'm going to change this more to shaded so we'll look at it better. So this is our first floor slab. It's still overlapping so we can just move this a little bit. So edit boundary and we can move this line and align that with this part, right? So to fix these issues and then we can move this to the bit of left here as well and align that there and we can orbit and that's pretty much it is. And yep, that's a problem here. Select this line and move this as well. We're just modifying the sketch of the floor. Now let's just click on yes. And then this time I'm going to click on yes to show you guys what actually this means. So if I click on this and now basically it's gives kind of create a curtain walls portion, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to click on edit, sorry, delete element. Now let's look at our, uh, floor, first floor slab. And as you can see that it actually moved over walls. As you can see here, it actually moved over walls a little bit up to give the slab height. Now, if we can select this again, edit boundary, click it again, I'm going to click no this time. And now it's going to basically move our walls back on. So this is the first floor slab. And we need to fix this here as well. So select it added boundary and move this wall as well and align that there. And it should be no problem now. Let's select this. Oops. Let's click here. And then would you like to yes, touch the bottom there. And there you go. Our first floor slab is done as well. And now we can add the railing and our roof and it's few of the windows are needs to be placed. We'll do that in the next video. Whoa!